Well hello everybody and welcome back to Going Medieval. In the last video we started getting out a little bit of a maze design. We expanded our husbandry area, kind of defined the area we're going to do our wood cutting in. But everything is coming along. Looks like the only thing we need to do is build out a second armory. And the base is pretty much there. We have two corner towers that need to be completed. But that's really, really close. We're mining out as much limestone as possible to finish off pretty much everything. But we are definitely making really good progress. We also got Scott with our first heavy crossbow, and that thing is a killer. Uh, if I can get another person with a heavy crossbow, we're gonna be in good shape. They're really expensive though, so I'm only gonna be able to have maybe a few people with them. We can make normal crossbows, but they just take two components. So like realistically, you go heavy crossbow or, or nothing in my opinion, because the saving one mechanic, if, if the light crossbow were one mechanical component, I would definitely be producing more of them. But since it's just one more for the heavy, I would always go with the heavy. Oh man, they're almost done with the second one. Cool. So I did make a new class for people. So we're going to put our second best marksman. So let's go to the overview. Go to manage. And who is our second best marksman? Probably going to be blind. And yeah, we should definitely give blind this. All right. So blind is intellect 50 now. Wow. 18 marksman. 18 marksman. I don't know if 18 marksmen is actually enough to use the crossbow. That's another question I have. So let's get this, let's get this made, and then let's see where she moves it to, so I can look at the stats on it. And Scott has one. It's not really emerging caravan. It's not really saying what what the level requirement is for it. Oh, you cannot do that. You cannot do that to me. Go back and finish it. All right, now we finished it. Now let's see where she brings it. Should be bringing it to the army. Cool. So she brought it over here. And I might actually just be able to tell Blind to go pick it up. Uh, equip. Warbow, 10. Crossbow is 15. Perfect. So I, no, I don't have to switch him over. I could just tell him to go pick it up. But now he... Yeah. Oh, wow. Blind had a short bow. Yeah, we got a few people using bows that they really shouldn't be using. Let's go down the line. Arl has a short bow. Um, he doesn't have the requirements. So that's good. Longbow flimsy. Nah. Longbow good. Al. He's gonna. He's where he needs to be. Henrik. He's where he needs to be. Short bow sturdy. No. Nope, still doesn't have. Uh, okay. May. Can. You, oh, we already did May. He's using. Meh is using a short bow. So no, we'll do a good longbow. Yeah, I should have done this a long time ago. Sorry, we've just been we've just been killing. I had to play with some kind of handicap, I guess. A bunch of short bows. Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave it alone for leave it alone there. That's enough upgrading. Yeah, now we're now we're, we're we've got an arsenal now. We're just gonna need to make sure that we got our crossbows probably on this side. The crossbows just have a superior range. And uh. Ooh, that's plate armor. Good. Need them to haul that ASAP. Heretic helmet. Uh, nothing really, really sticking out. Sturdy warbow. Ooh. How many H? How much does it have left on it? Sturdy rope. We need to haul that. I'm just going to have them manually do it because they're kind of sturdy and the good ones aren't that big of a deal we'll let let it sit outside it's all it's cold outside so i think everything is uh pretty much not going anywhere oh i hate when it does that all right research available let's see what else we can get um silvering wall mirrors okay i'm not really thinking that's a thing i need that's a good one tapestry is a good one shields two shields three preserving food We've kind of actually hit the uh, the peak peak of the the best stuff here, but one thing I forgot I just realized is we did not do steel production, and we can make we can make items from steel. Iron ingots, twenty coal. Okay, yeah, we can make items from the steel that are superior. I'm pretty sure. And we're making ice. Pretty sure we got the. Oh yeah, so last episode we got doors on this. And what we can do is keep them open when there's no ice, but when there is ice, of course, you know, it's actually colder outside. But yeah, it's like, there's something about closing these doors that just 
isn't that great. You can see that near the ice, it's it's pretty decent, but I'm wondering if I should have placed them in separate corners too for maximizing. But um, yeah, it's it's actually not really working the way I thought it would. So, but it is winter, so it might do better to close them in the summer. Oh, cool, we got ice over here. See, it's 31 over here. I think it's because of the volume of stuff on the floor. Too. Maybe we want to remove um, the things on the floor. It also could just be because the doors are shut. And uh, people are also traveling into this more often. So they're bringing in heat, I think. That's one of the things I've noticed, so. Alright. And then once... Once everything hits, we'll be in good shape. Why? Why are you doing this to me? It expands on. There we go. Cool. Now we've got the design all done. Don't have that big old slotted dead space in the center, but we can still use this as a kill zone. We got our pen up. Got everything. Yeah, this is looking sharp. Just have to finish this, and we need clay bricks for that. So let us do it. Let us build out the last part. This will be a second armory. Oof. Hard to see in the snow sometimes. Alright, and I think I'm going to do an iron reinforced door on this. Because it is the armory. Just for... Not that the people ever come in here and steal anything. Alright, and then we need to get the roof on this, and we're going to use the wood roof. Boom. Okay, and then weapon racks all the way around. I think I put two doors in the other one, but I'm only going to do one on this guy. Yeah, I did. I'm only going to do one on this one. There we go. Cool. Back in armory. Look at it go. Now we've got everything built out, kind of e of equal proportion. We got our back rooms, and we got our farming, we got our husbandry, we got our wood cutting, maize, we're looking sharp. How much wood do I have now though? Got a lot of leather. I can't build a castle out of leather. At least not yet. 343, that's definitely not enough. So we're just, um, we're gonna table those corner pieces. I'm actually even gonna table some of this stuff. I, I kind of need to let them catch up. It looks like we were able to get all of the limestone out of this area. Got 16 of these. That's pretty good. I'm only having to make 35 for now. But yeah, the ice should help us. And we... Now that the doors are open, let's check a peek. Yeah, see, now with the door... Well, we, it's hard to tell, though, because... Um, it gets... It's a lot colder right now than when I first started, so... Yeah, 28 over here, 29 over here. So everything over here is frozen. And if it's... So this is the interesting thing, though. Because the ice is... Minimum temperature achievable is 32. So these can only bring it down to 32. But if you keep it at a perfect 32, they don't degrade. So it's actually possible. Um. Here's the thing, though. Yeah, decompose is never... It might even be possible to keep this area indefinitely cool. If it's a little bit, if it's between 32 and 33.8, you're getting that 0.18 decay, but that might last you to the next winter when you can replenish it. So you might be able to uh, finagle things to keep things indefinitely. I think if you did use more ice blocks, like a lot of ice blocks, you could probably achieve it. All right. Yeah, these are hugging a little bit, which I, I'm not too too fond of, but uh, 
I probably should have put them over here a little bit away, but it's okay. Yeah, they're hugging each other too, but that's all right. The castle is looking pretty sharp. Oh, wow, we finished it. There we go. Beautiful. We just need to, uh... Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get this dude correct, because he looks ugly. There we go. Now we're looking sharp. Oh yeah, I didn't actually think about that. So we we can like half half round these out. And I don't know if that would look good or not. Probably would. Yeah, that actually does look a little sharper. I think I can do multiples. There we go. Yeah, that does look a little bit sharper. There we go. Yeah, it looks like doing multiples is actually the way to go. There we go. That's easy. Keep the I'll keep the corners, but Definitely want to make this look as sharp as possible. Perfection. Cool. There we go. And we got rounded, rounded towers. I don't know if we want to do it here too, just to keep keep consistency, or if that looks weird. Nah, it don't look weird at all. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit sharper like that. Not as block. It doesn't look as blocky. It looks a little bit more authentic. Well, yeah, we got our super castle. That's awesome. We got our banners. We got our torches. I like the torches a lot at night. They look really good. Makes the... When it's like the town is pitch black, it looks... It just doesn't look right. Mm, yeah, we definitely need some uh, Travolta banners on the castle itself. I'm not sure where to put the banners. I guess right here would be good. I don't know if I can put banners here, but I think two on the side is good enough. And then two up here. All right. We do need some more torches though throughout Pretty much all of this. Um, I think a torch up here at top would be good. I also think torches up here on the tower would be good, but I'm not really sure where to place them. Maybe I'll just put one right up there. Yeah, we've got just dead bodies everywhere outside. Um, yeah, we got a lot going on for us. Alright, cool. Speed this up. Oh yeah, we're making really good progress. We've done a lot. Settlers are exhausted. Yeah, they always are. Oh, there's a region map. That's what the cartography table unlocked. What factions? Okay. Jeez Louise, I did not know there was even this. We have a ton of hostile... Okay, and these guys, we can send caravans, okay. I don't really have any need to trade, though. 
But yeah, so I can send a trade caravan. But I don't I don't need to trade anything. Okay, cool. So that's what the, but it's good to know that's what the cartography table does. It unlocks the region. Sorry about that. There's things I don't know about this game. I I'm a little over focused on certain aspects of games. Mostly combat. I try to focus on how to make the best defenses and stuff. But to be honest, I, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really been motivated to trade. Because I'm pretty self-sufficient here. I mean, I could probably send a caravan to buy, like, limestone, though. That would probably be useful. But those are starving. Okay, they just weren't eating. Alright, we should be making plenty of meals. Yeah, we got meals and lavish meals. The wazoo. Oh, nice. Simple healing kit. Oh my god, why am I... Five herbs, healing kit. Five herbs. So it's just medicine. Disinfectants. Pigment is eggs, so we need chickens. Now we don't have disinfectants yet, so let's just do um, the advance. Advanced heal kits. Cool. Got all about medicine making. Alright, we're doing great. Outside of some of the mistakes, but no one's died. So, I feel like that's a success. Alright, did we make that statue? Yes, we did make that statue, but where did that statue go? Where are you, statue? Probably gonna look... Oh, wow, we have no more ice storage downstairs, so... We're putting ice up here. That's kind of cool, though. That might actually help us out. Yeah, I'm not seeing any statues. Man, we got a lot of ice. Cold snap, yeah. That's the last thing we needed was more cold. Hmm. Where would... If I were a statue, where would I be? Well, I wouldn't... I'd be somewhere. I can't tell if that's a dead body or a statue. Linen cloth. We got a lot of resources in here. A lot of beeswax. Um, beeswax is pretty dope. We can uh, use it to make some advanced like uh, candles and stuff. That look really cool. There's a lot of good, a lot of good uh, loot that we've gotten. We got vinegar piles. So that I think that wine turned to vinegar. I didn't drink it. Yeah, let's just go through all of our, our loot. We got a fine crown. I'm kind of like tempted to put that on someone, but uh, not really useful. All right. A lot of clothing, a lot of hay. Hay lasts pretty much forever. Um, I thought someone was. On, I thought the building was on fire. It's the pyre up there. They're burning bodies finally. I think ash is used to make something too. Iron ingot. A ton of iron. A ton of clay. A lot of ash. A little bit more vinegar. That's cool though. I gotta figure out what to do with some of this stuff. There's a lot of um there's a lot of neat stuff in this game. Alright, a lot of linen. A lot of dead bodies in this room. It's like I don't want them in there. It's like it makes it's weird that I'm like hoarding them that way. Like throw them at Throw them in the moat or something, dude. Like, why do you gotta, why do you gotta keep them in here? What kind of crazy person? All right, I have no idea where that statue is. All right, and it's too cold in here. Okay. All right. Well, one day we'll find that statue. That statue was pretty. Pretty expensive. I'll play around with it. I'll try to find it. I'm not seeing it. Maybe I just need to build another one. It's a lot of limestone, though. And yeah, we're running out of we're running out of limestone altogether. Actually, we just don't even have it. I think there's a, a wood. Producing tent, or not tent, sorry, a station. 
woodwork bench. Do we have enough room? Okay, put the woodworking bench in there. I'm happy to have two people with heavy crossbows, though. But yeah, so far we got a good thing going. We got our cellar. Got our second. Ooh, wow, it's done. Got our second armory. Yeah, it's looking pretty awesome. Definitely, definitely nice to have all of those weapons out of here and uh, in a nice confined area. I just need to let them all kind of catch up. I think we potentially. No, we're still trying to train that dog. We have two dogs though that are hauling, and those are, those have been, pretty much vital to the like better than anything else. But they're just always hauling. It's awesome. I um, I need to. That might be something I I could have traded for was getting more dogs. You have to feed them, but they're really easy to feed because I'm pretty sure you can feed them hay. All right, and I think we're getting. I don't know what they're coming out of here for. Maybe wood. We definitely need all of these trees to grow. And then once we get this up, we can make wood statues. All right, cool. Let's build two, two wood statues. Use all of our wood on that. I don't know why you would even want to build wooden weapons. It's kind of a silly, silly thing. Oh wow, yeah. The uh, we're finally we finally have a row of apples, so we'll start we'll start planting the other apples here soon. So let's copy this zone and do it throughout here too. It should all be apples as well, and that will have a nice little symmetry. Same thing here. Oh god. There we go. Cool. And we got it we got it all done. We got everything done. Kinda neat. There's snow someplace. That's right, because we built this before the snowstorm. Oh, we got the corner towers. Yep, yep. Um if we can find some mature trees, mature trees have like 50, like this guy over here. So, you see this one has 15, this field maple has 50. We're going to just go for the, the big fish, because um, we can get a lot of wood. 45 is good for me, too. Yeah, we can get hundreds of wood. Yeah, I have no idea if they can even get to this area. I know they could probably run... Yeah, they can get down here. But we should definitely get a stepping area. It's good to kind of like... Once you have your defenses up, and it makes it easier for the enemies to get to you, but... Um, it's kind of good to have this stuff. It looks like we could probably connect this area right here. Just a few additions. Okay, cool. We'll have them build that out so we can get more wood from these areas. And like I said, I'm not really apt to make these traps just because I always find that people step in them. Traps work really well if you have enclosed areas that aren't in within the pathing of your normal day-to-day -day traveling. But yeah, if I were to trap this, I most likely it would hurt me more than it would hurt the enemy because I'd be running into it all the time. Cool, looks like we get, we did get some of this done. We just need to get that. And then we'll have multiple... Well, I guess there's really no point to that, but... Yeah, we're fine. Never mind. Don't need that. Cool, they can get up to the trees now, and these trees have a lot of wood in them. About 50, 50 to 48 a pop. That's more than enough, I think. But we're just going to chop down the good trees. Not, nothing with 15 on it. It actually might have been smart to just have a, like, not allow sticks to be stored in all the storage and just had a storage for sticks that had, like, a max capacity of, you know, like, 10 by 10 tiles. Just have, like, a stick room. But I'm a hoarder by nature. We actually had 9,500 sticks at one point, so 
I always like to have just an absurd amount of materials just in case if I make a miscalculation. And I do have the space. I have tons of open room. Um, we got a lot of ice blocks though, upstairs. And I feel like that's a mistake. I'm actually going to shrink this. Let's get, let's get it down. Shrink this and expand the ice blocks. Let's get six of them in here. And the same with this. We really don't need anything on the floor, to be honest, with all the stacks we have. So let's get let's get the ice blocks down here. I didn't really think they would actually get that many done. Kind of crazy. There we go. And with the ice in these rooms, you can see it's under 28, but it's winter, so it's hard to gauge. Once the summer comes, we'll, we'll be able to gauge more effectively how this all works. And we can even increase it. We can... I mean, we have um, 12, 24, we, we have more. Yeah, we have a lot more ice blocks, but I was going to have two more storage rooms, but it's really not necessary. You really don't need that big... With the these racks, you can just... These shelves, I mean, you can carry 150 per shelf, so... Four rooms of this is actually pretty sufficient. But yeah, I could easily... I could easily... Oh, shoot, I have these guys on forever. All right, 52 it is. <laughs> so you have 52. Wonder if I could... Nope, can't do it. That, that works for me. 30, these guys can be 35, and these guys can be 52. It's a lot of ice. I'm starting to... I am starting to think that having a floor storage is just kind of pointless, to be honest. I'm just going to remove the floor storage. And that way we can properly expand these without interference, so we can just expand as needed. Yeah, let's ramp up ice storage production. There we go. Cool. Now we'll get a bunch of ice down here, and I think that's going to make a huge difference. Way too much ice. The gardens are looking pretty nice. Alright, how much wood do we have? 306. Still not enough. Alright, we're going tree hunting. Anything with 50, we're cutting down. Forty-five is acceptable. All right. Yeah, wood is definitely hard to come by. I need to make sure that they're not burning all of it in the brazers. So, let's do this. Oh, it only lets me select those. Yeah, we don't want wood or coal. We just want sticks being burned. I, I reset a good chunk of them, but... Uh, medium priority. Yeah, we do not want wood or coal being burned in these things. Cool. That should do it. I know these guys are set up properly. Cool. I have the ones for the residential on high priority for fueling. The other ones can can be on medium priority. They're not uh, we're not in those rooms or sleeping in those rooms, so. And now we have a shit ton of ice storage. This is perfect. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cold down here. Below 32, so we're doing a good job. We don't even have well, we have 7600 hay. Probably from all the barley 
think I'm actually gonna shrink this down to quite pretty much like nothing. Um, we just have too much. And we don't have the distillery research. I guess brewing. We should do the brewing station to uh, use the barley that we were growing. All right, we'll just do it in the corner here. Cool. It's pretty. It's pretty awesome to have everything built out, though. I'm really looking forward to the uh, the summer, though. We can actually see everything. You can see barley gives you four barley and fifteen hay. You can you could easily feed an army of sheep <laughs> with uh with the barley. So let's also see if we can get some new animals here. Oh, nice. Sheepy needs to be trained. I thought I already had Sheepy on training. Huh. Right, let's see what we got going on here. We got, we got a cow. We should definitely capture that cow. And a bunch of wolves. And I think if we capture wolves, they turn into dogs. Let's try to capture a few wolves. Oh, that's pretty cool. They have a chance to retaliate. So let's do tameable retaliation chance. The deer... The deer the easiest. There's a chance for the deer to retaliate? Okay, that's scary. 20% retaliation chance. I don't like that. Let's go with a lower retaliation, higher tameable chances. But that says 40%. Oh, if I attack them. Okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't been attacking the wolves. I'm actually afraid what's going to happen if one wolf becomes aggressive. But uh, having some more stock some more dogs would be pretty cool to haul. Right now I just people just have too many jobs going on, so I just need to kind of stop giving them stuff to do. But we still have two beds cuz we're at 14 and 16 pop. And uh, everyone's doing pretty well. You can see that they're happy for the most part, except for the people who are seeing dead bodies and want to get drunk. <laughs> Yeah. Living the dream. Alright, well that's going to do it for this last play. Thank you guys so much for watching.